Good morning everyone, in today's video I'm going to be telling you what is in my camera bag. I uh, have seen a lot of videos going around that are similar to this, where they open up their camera bag, they show I have a Joey, I have a Sony this, a Sony that, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you what's in my special camera bag. This camera bag is uh, called the Million Dollar Bag, pretty good bag, uh, kind of old. So you open it up and there's like a zipper pouch up here. So in this pouch, I have my GoPro accessories. So I have a little thumb screw, which looks like this. I have a little baby, uh, tiny little GoPro tripod that is kind of cheap plastic. But when I set it up, it's pretty good for that purpose of a GoPro. And I also have a spare GoPro battery, as you can see it says spare, right on there. And uh, this is good because I've actually run out of battery quite a lot in my GoPro. So I just have those three things in there. And we'll get to the sides later, but on the inside pouch here, you can see there's a little inside pouch right there. And uh, on the left side, I have some little lights. They're a little bright, they do get the job done. So when it's dark, I turn these little bad boys on and put them on my GoPro or on my uh, Sony A6000 that I'm shooting on now. And they're pretty decent for little low light situations. And uh, speaking of GoPro accessories, I have a GoPro right here. I have the GoPro Hero 5 Black. Used to vlog on this thing, but it's not a practical vlogging setup unless you have like a microphone. Because you can hear the, uh, the rubbing noise and slight movements <clears throat> and uh, a little jailbreaker hack I did to mine as you can see is I uh, drilled some holes here these holes are actually where the microphones are on the left side you can see that little bitty hole is the microphone but on the right if I take this case off which I cracked you can see that the holes are a lot farther back than the actual hole was right here so GoPro did not put the hole over the right spot for each of the microphones including on the top so it uh, I made my own little adjustments and uh, I fixed that from the GoPro Hero 5 in this pocket is empty in this pocket would be my Sony a6000 but I'm shooting on that so not today then you tear open this front pouch. In here I keep all my cables. I have the uh, USB-C GoPro Hero 5 charger. Pretty cool charging cable. I have my phone charger. And then I there's another pouch inside of here as well, which is also pretty cool. So in here I have the Sony A6000 camera strap which I probably will never use because you can hear the tapping noise whenever you move around. So I have the Sony A6000 camera strap. In that little pouch I also have this. It looks like a trash bag but it's actually not a trash bag. I also have a Canon 40D but it does not fit in this camera bag. So this is for that or for when I'm shooting in the rain. You just put this over the lens Not see the plastic bag, but it's completely encased the entire camera. So it keeps my camera since the Sony A6000 is not waterproof. Neither is the 40D, but I don't have to worry about this little bad boy because this is waterproof. So that's all that is in that pouch. So we close that pouch. We close this pouch, and this little case right here is uh, pretty cool. It actually is a sunglasses case of mine and a uh, nice hard case so nothing inside gets damaged so when you open it up first thing in here is this little bad boy this is like a five dollar four SD card slot <clears throat> SD card holder I have two SD cards I actually have three this one is for uh, this one is actually for the GoPro this one is a backup storage one which is uh, corrupted so I need to get a new one 
And then I have a faster one inside my Sony A6000. So that's that goes in here. And then I have the Sony A6000 <coughs> charger block. And uh, the cord is in here as well. So it's just a micro USB charger. Then I have some high-tech cleaning paper, which is great because this... Uh, flip screen on, or tilt screen I guess because it's not a flip out screen, but the tilt screen on the back of the Sony A6000 gets fingerprints on it somehow because you're moving it back and forth, but it's not a touch screen and uh, the lens can be cleaned with this it uh, can scratch your lens or your screen slightly, so I would be careful if you buy this um, these things I took off from day one these are the little infamous uh, camera strap holders that always make noise when you're recording. This is a piece of paper that I already used from the cleaning kit. There's nothing else in either side and so now we'll move to this side of the actual camera bag. So right here I have the little Manfrotto tripod uh, with the ball head where you just push this very sturdy and you just turn it to whatever angle you want, let go and it automatically locks. You can just turn it like this and vlog like that. I love this little tripod because it's very quick. You can just push the button, adjust the angle, set it down, two seconds. And it's solid. This is a couch, but it's really, really solid. It's got little baby rubber feet on the bottom of here. So it grips the table or any surface that you put it on. Then you can immediately take it from its unfolded position, click it together, and uh, hold it like that. Moving on from the Manfrotto, we have this cheap little 100 yen uh, phone tripod that I got from a store called uh, Daiso, which is like a cheap dollar store. So you just screw that in there. It's broken on the back, but uh, it's good because I can just click my phone in there. It's not very good for stability because it just unbends itself and it's not very sturdy on a table. So, on the other side, take a second to get off of here because of the ball joints on here. This is the wonderful Joby that everyone loves and knows. Um, I've used this one in the past for my GoPro. With the This is the GoPro Joby Hybrid. So, it's uh, the black and gray one. It's uh, very sturdy still. It's actually kind of old, but it's still sturdy. Like, it's a little loose in the joints, but it's still pretty sturdy to set up on a table and uh, move around. So you can see I don't have the ball head on there, but I do own the ball head. I just don't choose to put it on there. Because I also use this for my Sony A6000, and with the ball head, the proportions are kind of off, and I don't like how big and bulky it looks. So I don't really take this off. I either use this... Or use my Manfrotto with the actual built-in ball head and just use that. In my opinion, the Manfrotto kind of goes with Sony and the Joby Gorillapods go with the uh, Canons. Like, Canon has mostly big cameras. Sony has medium-sized cameras and pocket cameras. So, that is my opinion on all that. So, that is my camera bag. I'll leave the link to everything that I have here except for uh, like the sunglasses case because that's the sunglasses but uh, this little case you can find pretty much anywhere even in 7-eleven usually has stuff like this I'll leave a link to the GoPro the Manfrotto tripod that I use and most of all the camera bag that I use and the tripod that I'm using right now and the Sony a6000 that I'm using right now and uh, Thanks for watching. Don't forget to drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it. And comment down below what you guys want to see next. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.